Hello, Namaskar viewers. I am Sanjeev Pandya welcoming you to this week's edition of the Business Talk with AJ right here on ITV Gold. Happy to be with you once again in the same time slot that we bring you the business news, not only from US, but from all over the world in this Business Talk with AJ show. The show is brought to you by Science CPS Services, a full-fledged accounting firm with the professional tax preparation services, bookkeeping services, payroll services, and any tax-related or business-related matters, they can help you out. Multiple locations in the state of New Jersey. They can be reached by just dialing 908-380-6876. That's a 908-380-6876. Visit their website, sciencecpsservices.com. More about Science CPS Services will be coming in this episode as we go along. First of all, let me welcome Mr. A.J. Kumar of Science CPS Services. Uh, good to have you. Welcome to the show. Thank you, Sanjeevji. Thank you for the kind introduction. Yes, always very welcome. As now we are, you know, um, getting into month of October. So here we are, October, November, December to go for this business news. And then tax season is around the corner. Absolutely. Absolutely. So, um, you know, a lot of planning needs to be done right now. As I said, that will give you more information. And the planning in the sense that you want to save on your taxes and you want to have your taxes done right there may be some advices that you can use from Science CPS Services where to invest your money, where to park your money and get the full deduction, tax deduction on your tax return. So that way you pay less taxes on your own money and because you have invested it. And there are several um, there are programs that they can invest it, right? There are a lot of options and you're 100% right. A right. lot of people make this mistake. They go to the accountant in January, February, March, or oh, here is my, my document, can you file my taxes? And mm. it's too late for any planning to be done because the year is already over. The planning actually starts in the fourth quarter. This is the right time, October, November, December, when you need to look at your books, how much profit you expect to make, what can you do now before the year end to minimize your tax liability. So very well successful. All right, okay, with that note, let's move ahead with our business stories. Of, uh, of the day, of the week in this episode. U.S. government estimates last quarter's economic growth was 2.1%. That's unchanged from the previous estimate. It's a good Absolutely. news. It's okay news. Well, it's a good news. The good news in the sense is not lower. It's not against what they were expecting. So the expected growth was 2.1% and it happens to be 2.1%. We are talking about the second quarter here. If you remember in our last show, we mentioned for the first quarter, it was 2.2%. So it's slightly lower than the first quarter, but again, it's in line with the expectation that analysts were, were thinking. So 2.1% against 2.2% is not bad. It's, okay. it's a good news. Uh, it's a good news. All right. You know, and uh, let's hope that it gets better and better instead of, you know, 2.1, 2.2. Let's go. Let's hope that it goes higher. Um, more and uh, you know, very few Americans are applying for uh, uh, job benefits. Absolutely. So the job benefit claims have gone much lower than uh, what we were expecting, which is a good thing for the economy. It shows a lot of people are able to find job. A lot of people are start their own business, so they're not relying on jobless claim, unemployment claims. So in total, it shows a good positive sign for the economy. It means the economy is coming out of recession, coming out of depression, and economy will soon be, be doing better than what we see today. Okay, that's a really good news. Layoffs are very rare. And if it stays that way, you know, it, it's a strong um, sign of economy that, that it's, it's doing very well. Now, when there is economy doing well, obviously, then the value of dollar also needs to go up there or value of dollar should hold to a high level uh, against the, 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 the competent country's currencies. Yeah, absolutely. This is how it works. When economy of a country is doing well, their currency tends to become stronger. So if you compare dollar versus euro if you compare dollar versus yen you will see dollar is at its strongest position in last 10 months so i mean if you compare dollar versus indian rupees you know do dollar is holding up to a very high uh, rate indian economy is doing very well thanks to the government over there there are a lot of positive things happening over there so in that case 
it's a competition which one which currency is stronger so you will see dollar is not really increasing in value compared to indian rupees that does not mean dollar is not doing well dollar is doing very well it also means indian currency is doing very well too indian economy is doing very well when you compare dollar versus yen japanese yen and or euro you will see dollar is at at the highest point very good all right so now let me understand this clearly and let me try to um, you know help uh, help our viewers to understand this very correctly economy is unchanged 2.1% which is okay that's a good news because it remains about same then dollar is high um, layoffs are very rare because less people less americans are filing for job benefits mm -hmm. so if everything is good then why is this spending consumer spending is weaker than expected well that's a great question all these things is a cycle so when you find a new job when the jobless claims it starts to go down it takes at least 6 months for somebody to get comfortable and start spending the money when you find your new job you don't really go out of your way to find, to spend a lot of money in buying car furniture or other items it's a cycle hmm. people will take a couple of months 3 to 6 months before the consumer spending starts to go up even though the jobless claims are lower even though economy is showing good results positive results still we know due to high inflation gas prices are very high at the highest level we know home prices are very high so there are a lot of things that are priced at very high which shows into inflation so people are buying what they absolutely need to buy they're not really buying uh, what we call luxury because, items yet. because things are very expensive things are you know, expensive and especially the, the the daily things that you need for the grocery and uh, and the gas the and side. stuff like that they are expensive, expensive side. Right. and when the jobless claims starts to go down mm. it takes about six months before it shows up in the consumer spending yes there is a confidence factor there's a lag over there right absolutely all right so as we talked about this U u.s economy and everything else right now you know the picture now let's bring in some very interesting stories of we are now in you know 21st century 2023 2024 is just around the corner do you remember there was a time about i don't know three decades ago two decades ago we used to rent out dvds from that box called red box yes. uh, which which would be outside 7 i remember the city. blockbuster time as well yes if you go back further before Correct. netflix ah. there used to be blockbuster that was bankrupt and they stopped doing having those shops Correct. And then came Netflix, the red envelope. Well, actually, Netflix was born out of Blockbuster. Absolutely. The reason is because this person rented a movie, and when he went to return the movie at the Blockbuster, that must have been VHS or DVD tape, I don't know. And they, they charged so many, so much late fees. And then he decided to, to, to start Netflix. And that's how Netflix was born. My story is that we used to rent out these DVDs out of Redbox, right? Take it home, watch a movie for a day or two, and then return it. So that era is now ending. After 25 years, this was Netflix startup. So Netflix now have decided to, to, to stop completely up the red box it's a DVD rentals. It's a very good example how a corporation has to be agile enough mm. to change with the time. If, if Netflix kept doing what they started doing, renting the movies through the red box, they would be out of business by now and that's what happened to blockbuster blockbuster had good following great business lot of shops everywhere if they had changed their business model went online you would have had a, a, a streaming service from blockbuster mm, now absolutely now we have a streaming service from netflix not a lot of people are taking those dvd out and it made sense for the company it made sense for netflix to stop that red box completely <laughs> so you know the time is really changing so so that is going to be now out of the way and um, Panera Bread actually they have released the uh, menu and that's inspired by Roman Empire yes so absolutely. so this is very interesting you know next time you go to Panera Bread and you see something different menu which is inspired by Roman Empire don't be surprised just know that you uh, you heard it right here in the business talk show on, on, on ITV. So this is, you know, uh, they released the menu after the latest TikTok trend. So now the story that the, the point I'm trying to bring in is the DVD rental era comes to an end. Netflix is 
popular. Who doesn't have Netflix nowadays, Absolutely. right? And Absolutely. now TikTok trend is really also becoming very, very hot. And uh, and then uh, you know uh, one of those sought after things for businesses to go to promote their product. Uh, absolutely, you're one hundred percent right. The business has to be agile. Mm. Business has to change with the time. I remember the days when we used to have a website only, and that was a big mm. deal. Your company has a website. Then the time came when you had to have the SEO around yes. it. Then the time came when you have to have a Facebook page, a Twitter page, a LinkedIn page. So unless you keep changing the business model keep changing the menu for the restaurant, keep changing the way you do things, you will be phased out. So you have to be agile enough, upgrade the technology, upgrade your business model as the time comes. All right, as the time comes, we are into now smart devices era. This is what the time is. And everyone plays games on their smart device, right? And you think the gaming industry is very, very hot and has a great future? Wait till you hear this, Epic Games. This is the uh, maker of Fortnite, which is one mm -hmm. of the most popular games, right? And they just announced two days ago that they're going to be laying off 16% of its staff. Because obviously, you know, the other games are in the market and people are paying more attention mm -hmm. to the other games. So about 830 people uh, will be getting laid off from Epic Games as it attempts to, to reverse, you know, um, unrealistic spending on a games. Uh, absolutely. So the, everything is changing. I can foresee a time when you will have virtual competition among these video games. Mm. Instead of having this live soccer game, instead of having live football game, you will have a lot of these games played virtually among virtual teams. And yes. there will be prizes, there yep. will be stadiums, virtual game stadiums where a lot of people are showing up, registering for the game, and there is a virtual competition happening where everybody is assigned a seat. So everybody has the same computer power. Everybody has the same facility. So there is, there is nothing advantageous to anybody. So imagine a situation when you have a big stadium full of computer screen, people are registering to sit on each computer screen and playing a virtual game. <laughs> That's all games are all about. All right, with that note, we come to the end of the first half of the Business Talk with AJ uh, show. And um, we're going to be back after these messages with more business stories for you. So please stay with us. Welcome back to the second half of the Business Talk with AJ. In this show, you get to know the latest business stories from US and from all over the world. Sometimes the business stories that you may have missed it and you get to know it right here in our show. Brought to you by Sci CPS Services, an accounting firm. They can help you from starting your business all the way to payroll services and to um, IRS audit in case if there is one also corporate taxes and then personal taxes. They also have virtual CFO services in case if you ever need that. If there is an accounting firm which is advancing with the time and making very, very, very easily affordable services available to their clients, to people like you, no matter where you are in the United States, Science CPA Services is one of them with multiple locations in the state of New Jersey and they can really guide you in the right direction when it comes to your taxes, whether personal or corporate, doesn't matter. So reach out to them, 908-380-6876. Now here's the story, AJ, that is become, that is now very, very, um, uh, you know, important story. And now during the weekend, I think on all the talk shows, we're gonna hear more and more about this story, which is US government shutdown. Uh, U.S. government shutdown is very eminent and um, government, U.S. government notified federal workers just a couple of days ago that a shutdown appears um, eminent, you know, because Republicans and Democrats are not agreeing to certain things. So this Republican-led standoff on Capitol Hill forced the Biden administration to begin the formal methodical process of preparing much of Washington to come to a halt. What's going to happen? We really don't know. October 1st, Sunday, is when the shutdown begins. Absolutely. So just, put, just to put everything in perspective, a government shutdown means 1.9 billion, not million, billion dollars in lost revenue or deferred revenue. That's a lot of money. It will also mean a lot of federal workers, millions of federal workers will not have a job, will not have a paycheck. So it's not deferred salary, they just don't get paid. 
So think about it, when you have millions of people not getting paid, what impact would it have on the economy? They have to be cost conscious, they have to be saving money. So it will have repercussions for the long term, not just immediate. Uh, and think about the situation, the economy is already struggling. We have high inflation. We are talking about 2.1% growth in second quarter versus 2.2% growth in the first quarter. At this point of time, in October, if we have the government shut down, it can have various impact, yes. a lot of repercussions on the economy as well. Mm -hmm. So now, you know, you must be wondering that what would happen, what could happen if real government shutdown takes place? Well, there are some important programs going to be affected and I just want to bring, you know, several programs to you. Um, this government shutdown could have an immediate impact on a program called WIC which is a program that provides grocery assistance to about 7 million pregnant people. Think about it. 7 okay. million Mothers people Mothers and children, yes. Gas. Including Grossly. more than half of the newborns in the United <clears throat> States. So that and some recipients of the special supplemental nutrition program known Absolutely. as SNAP, all right, for women, infants and children may be turned away from stores as early as next week. Wow. Yeah, so, so th this is going to be happening and beside that many other programs which is government really funds such as the agriculture department they're also going to have uh, you know that they're also going to have pause on their funding available also but mainly um, this poor people or poor people who are using these benefits to survive to have their daily you know meal every day uh, not only for individual but infants and babies and children this is all going to be affected because because of politics between Republicans and Democrats. Well, even if you are not one of them who is directly impacted, even if you don't use a SNAP program, WIC program or other government aid, a lot of other people will still be affected. If you own a grocery store, you have lesser grocery sales. If you have any retail store, people are not walking in because they can't afford to walk in. So it will have a lot of large impact on everybody's yep. for some is more direct than others but everybody will get affected with this. this is going to be really really interesting i hope that they find a solution i really don't understand that next year is election year we're talking united states of america economy is doing well and everything how can these politicians let this go this close to government shutdown date well, i think it's, as you rightly said it's all politics from a republican perspective they want to let the public know Democrats, Democrats could not manage it. They did not maintain it well. If you look at it from Democrats' perspective, they want to make sure that they come across as a winner. So right before the election year, especially during the election year, it's very important for each party, each person to look good in public eyes. <laughs> and a lot of time it becomes more of an ego issue, more of a political issue than actually the economic issue. Yeah, but you know, many people are suffering and that should not be that way. Anyway, you mentioned Democratic Party. Let me just say the President of the United States of America, Joe Biden, is uh, going to give uh, a democracy speech all right and that's going to have a lot of information about his campaign going into the year 2024 the white house has announced that president biden's upcoming speech will also pay tribute to the legacy of the late arizona senator john mccain who was a republican not only a republican but a prominent republican and a war hero so so joe biden is going to pay tribute to this uh, gentleman who was a Republican and will give a Joe Biden will give a key speech in Arizona all right um, on protecting democratic institutions and by the time by the time you actually um, watch the show Joe Biden's speech would have occurred and hopefully you would have made some notes but this is what election time they're getting ready for it but Absolutely. they are not talking about you know um, funding this government shutdown Absolutely. thing so that way government doesn't shut down. Think about it, a democratic president giving tribute to a Republican yes. war hero, uh, a senator from Republican to have more votes as opposed to looking at the ground reality, where the economy is going, why we have a government shutdown, why the gas prices are so high, why the inflation is so high. And you have to see, it gets really, really funny at times yes. when it comes to the election year that everybody is thinking, talking about the vote bank as opposed to the population. Yeah, very good. All right, let's go to the next one. 
This has to do with the U.S. government and Amazon, all right? The U.S. Federal Trade Commission, known as FTC. So U.S. files antitrust lawsuit against Amazon, and this is going to get nasty and very interesting. Well, Amazon is a large company. Amazon is the largest retailer. The problem is when you are the largest retailer in a country, you can artificially drop the price because you can afford to lose the money. But when your prices are so low, a lot of other small businesses will go out of business. And as soon as the other businesses go out of business, you can triple the price because no, there is no competition anymore. This is called antitrust rule. FTC along with 17 other states are filing uh, and a lawsuit against Amazon that Amazon is not playing fair. In many cases, Amazon drops the price significantly so nobody else can compete. And then in many cases, they are charging double, triple price for the same item just because there's no competition anymore. They killed the competition. Yep. This is what the FTC is claiming. All right, so that's the Federal Trade Commission. That's a federal government, U.S. government, and they're going to be joined by 17 states in Absolutely. the United States of America. In and there could this. be more. As soon as the case starts, there may yes. be more states joining the same case. Amazon would have to come up with a very strong defense. Amazon has won the case earlier. When yes. there was a sales tax case, when there was a case in Europe against yes, Amazon. Exactly. So Amazon is a, is a billion dollar corporation. And this kind of thing had happened to Microsoft also in, in the late it's, 90s because when there was a monopoly and then, you know, That's where it starts. they had to go, um, Bill Gates and everybody else had to go to U.S. Senate and answer yep. the questions and everything else. So, so this is part of it. All right. Now, uh, let's move on to some very... Um, Let's say entertainment news, all right? I'm not saying lighter news because this story is not a light story or this story is not a very entertaining story, but we must bring it to you. There was this movie called The Exorcist. This was a 1973 film. The horror now, movie. Exactly. The horror movie was really a horror movie. 50 years later, right? And there's going to be an upcoming installment, The Exorcist Believer. But Alan Bernstein... Uh, returns to legendary horror franchise 50 years later in this exorcist believer story. And this was the first movie that got how many? 10 awards? Ah, easily. So, uh, before this movie, horror movies were never nominated. 10 Oscar nominations. 10 Oscar nominations. The yes. first movie getting yeah. 10 Oscar nominations as a horror movie. As a best a picture, day. as a best picture. <laughs> yes, I know, can you believe that? So, And it actually won two Academy Awards. Wow. So, so that's a story. Now moving on to this, okay, entertainment, let's touch upon Bollywood also. There is a strong um, competition going on at the box office between Sunny Deo's Gadar 2 and Shah Rukh Khan's Jawan. All right. According to one of the reports that I read, I'm not sure if, you know, so, so don't quote me to it, but that said that Gadar 2 has exceeded collection of Pathan in India, not the worldwide. Pathan or Jawan? Yeah, Pathan. Pathan. I'm talking Pathan hmm. because Pathan was the highest making film, Hindi Pathan. film till this day. So now Gadar 2 has surpassed that, but Jawan is right behind Gadar 2. And we're talking India box office, okay? We're not talking worldwide because worldwide, if you look at it, Shah Rukh really ruled the entire world yep. with both Jawan the films, Pathan and Jawan. And now he's going to have another movie coming up in December, precisely a couple of days before December, uh, before Christmas. And it's going to be Dunkey. That's the name of the movie called mm -hmm. Dunkey. And it all has to do about illegal immigrant and you know how they really want to get out of India and go to another country and stuff like that. So, Shah Rukh Khan is unstoppable, his movies yep. are unstoppable at the box office and Dunkey is coming up. So there are that's a lot of it. good movies coming up. Actually. Yeah, I, I heard there is Salman Khan movie coming up. There are a lot of new yes. movies coming up. Good All right, movies, movies up. always come up. But interesting thing is coming up starting from October 5th is the ICC's World Cup tournament in India. This 50 over format of World Cup tournament is scheduled to start from October 5th in India and the games are going to be played at various uh, you know, places Absolutely. and uh, of course stakes are very high because India is there and they, 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 uh, the World Cup is happening in India. Mm -hmm. Last time World Cup happened in India was in 2011. That's when Mahindra Singh Dhoni's the helicopter shot got India a second World Cup trophy after 1984. So now here we are in 2023, 12 years later, let's see what happens. But in the next week episode, we'll have a little more information about the World Cup. But I think one sad news or shocking news that uh, 
you know, Indian cricket team fans have come to know is that uh, one of the reliable all-rounders, Akshar Patel, mm -hmm. is going to be out of the tournament because of the injury that he suffered in the Asia Cup, which was just recently held. But India has a lot of players coming back from injury as well. Say so Shreya Shayar is back. KL Rahul, KL is, Rahul back. is back. Yes, they are doing Our good. Our star bowler yes. is back. <laughs> so we have a lot of good players. India did very well against mm. Australia. Mm. India did very India well. India won the series. Yeah, they, they won the first two games. Absolutely. They lost so the third game. India has a lot game. of good players. Yes. Good lineup, batting yes. lineup, bowling yeah. lineup. So we are looking forward to it. That would be that would be interesting. So this is going to be October fifth to November nineteenth. World Cup in India. So let's see what happens. And of course, we want India to win. I think all in all, there are about 10 teams, if yeah. I'm not mistaking, right? So so there are 10 teams and, um, you know, let's see how India advances. If you take a step back out of 10 teams, India has played and won against five of them. Oh. Pakistan, Bangladesh, yes. Sri Lanka, Australia yes. in last four weeks. Correct. Well, Australia, listen, you know, you really shouldn't just say that because India beat Australia in two games. Uh, it really doesn't mean that. Uh, well, well, of course, it's a good team. Uh, Australia is a good team. Yeah, you can't, yeah, well, can't underwrite Australia no, in the absolutely. World Cup team. But so every is Pakistan. single team. Yep, so every is Pakistan, single team is important. So is Sri Lanka. Correct. They're good teams. And you know what? This may be the first time, I think, in history. I think it's the first time West Indies did not qualify yeah, for the World Cup. Yeah. Can you believe that? That's Netherlands amazing. is in there. And Afghanistan is, is in there. And West Indies is not. Yes, and if West Indies did not qualify. Once upon a time, West Indies ruled the world Absolutely. of cricket. You know, they were the one who had won World Cup back to back when the World Cup started. And the third World Cup, you know, which um, the, the third series of it, India won. Otherwise, West Indies would have had a hat-trick of winning two World Cups. And now, West Indies did not even qualify. So, so they're not going to be there. So cricket is a game, yes, constantly that you have to play and you have to have your players really active. And um, you know, everyone's excited in India. People are going to have a lot of fun watching the games um, in, their, um, you know, um, in their cities, um, whether in person, at the stadium or at home. So with that note, we come to an end of this uh, business talk with AJ. But I'm sure AJ will have some kind of tax-related um, you know, information before we close the show. Uh, absolutely. Thank you, Sanjeevji. So if you filed an extension for your taxes or if you have a C corporation, just remember October 15th is right around the corner. You need to file your taxes before the deadline if you filed an extension for your personal taxes or for your C corporation. If you need any help, please call us. All right, good. With that note, we come to an end of this The Business Talk with AJ Show, brought to you by Sai CPA Services. And when AJ says call Sai CPA Services, you should call them 908-380-6876. Visit their website, SaiCPAServices.com. AJ, once again, thank you so very much. Thank you, Sanjeev. And I am Sanjeev Pandya, wishing you all happy and tax-free days ahead. Keep smiling until we meet again, same place, same time, next week. So long. Thank you.